path. So it uh, should be standard lanes here if IM has their way. They wanted the lane bully lane of Janna and Lucian up against this Sivir. We'll see what they can do with it. And if Goon can survive the early game. All right, well, set number two loading into the game. Can IM tie it up after a disappointing loss in game one? Let's find out as we head into Summoner's Rift. Watch is smart. He's just going to sit in the lane brush and wait for Evelyn to come. Apple still playing a little bit aggressively, too. Oh. Apple's just starting the duel, waiting for Tucson to come in, but he takes too many hits, and there's a flash forward from Watch, and Tucson just has to back out. Apple going in a little too early and taking a lot of minion damage, too, and now Watch sees Tucson with that tremor sense. The ping's coming in. Tucson has to run as fast as possible. Goon doesn't have too much leisure to come help. A different way all the way around, but before it throws a bit to him. Watch comes in for again, gets the knock up onto Ignard. There is the ultimate from Janna. And Pure takes a lot of damage from Roar. They have to use the summoner to heal it. Tucson charges forward a little too far, gets knocked up. There's the Ignite, and Pure will eventually go down as Roar now battles OQ, and he gets the double kill. Flashes out, and Frozen's here. Watch will pick up that one. He gets chained, but Goon is now here. So Apple and Ignar both have to watch out. They're hungry for the kill. On to Duke, and Frozen gets it. Can he come back and save Ignar? I think, oh no, he won't be able to as Goon just blinks over the wall, gets the damage, and Watch picks up the kill. Wow, what a bloodbath there on the bottom side. Tucson and Frozen escape. It deny would the deny vision, the vision yeah. as he walked through it to make him safe. It actually was smart, but fair enough. And here's a gang down onto the bottom lane. Tucson gets all spots both people. There's a depth charge, but Tucson isn't the one taking the tower damage. OQ is going to get down as Ignar pushes both of them back into the wall. Meanwhile, in mid lane, Frozen takes a huge hit. Gonna have to double blink away, but Watch is here. Oh, a nice fake back, but there's the smite already went down from Watch. So slow, helping Goon just catch up by walking forward. Teleport from Duke. But now, I mean, he's kind of stuck in a place where he has to commit to this dragon with his teammates as Goon goes on to Roar. Roar is now down to about a third health. Goon has been exhausted. A lot of damage coming in from the calling. Oki blocks a little bit for him, and that's enough for Najin to say, all right, well, we still have the advantage because look at Duke. Duke is in the top lane, gets the tower. He's still farming away, still has that teleport. Apple now has to go home, and another potential dragon opening for Notch and EF Fire. And they got two towers in that as well. Goop got Ooh. caught out a little bit, so I am just going to commit to this. Goop not there. Are they going to TP? TP's yeah, coming TP in. comes in. He's going to go for the equalizer right away, but he's a step too late to block the dragon. Can they get some kills here, though? There's a depth start. It's going to go over the wall and a nice equalizer. I am as swap war. They have to dodge a little bit. The monsoon putting out a lot of heals. Pure not going to get the hook, and Watch takes a ton of damage, gets knocked up by the Howling Gale. There's a shield coming in for the Aegis of Legion. And Duke's just trying to put out some damage with the harpoons over the wall as Goon shows up. Everyone is so low, but he's a step too late to pick up a pentakill. Uh, except for, okay, Frozen will be able to blink out in time. Wasn't sure it was cooldowns there. Wangzu really making as much as they can out of all these situations. That's three towers in a row for Aya. Yeah, and so Najin responds by just starting the dragon. Now Frozen is across the wall, puts down some damage onto Watch. The dragon's going down pretty quickly, but there's a Righteous Glory coming in. Roar dodges the hook, and wow, they get the steal. Tucson picks it up. Pure has to be knocked out. Roar gets a big hit from the Equalizer, though, and Goon comes in to pick up that one. Tucson also has to run away. How many kills will Najin get to equalize out of this fight? Watch gets locked down by the chain, but Apple can't stick around for the damage. Goon gets a double kill. They're looking for Tucson. Oh, Tucson gets spotted by the Golem, and he's going to get slowed down by Goong. Eventually, will go down with another Rift Walk hop here. Uh, well, he's going to run away, but get slowed down again. A little bit of a longer chase, and Priority, you also have On the Hunt. And Pure going to get caught by Tucson. They're going to turn right back around as Oki activates On the Hunt, gets a lot of damage down to Tucson. Watch shows up for the kill. Oki picks up the last hit. Goong gets slowed down by Apple and Roar. But they're going to charge back forward. Roar gets slowed down. And there's an equalizer. Roar gets hit by a Ganan, but they can't get the knock of Apple gets held behind. He's just going to sacrifice himself as he goes back in to make sure that Najin doesn't charge forward. And this might be a Baron for Najin EM Fire. Yeah, OQ. And we do see Duke showing up. He's going to run to Ignar first. And he's just going to start burning her down, melting her. And one last auto attack. Oh, the monsoon at the end. The exhaust at the monsoon. But there's the equalizer. Ignar just has to wait. He has to wait for his doom. <laughs> As the flame spitter comes forward, and he just gets burned down. Goo and Watch showing up behind the tower, almost gets the kill onto Frozen. No man escapes. Into the red buff, and Frozen's waiting there. He sees him. Roar showing up in that bottom side of the map, and they're going to go on to Goo. Goo's going to get chained, and he gets chained down. There's the calling. There's the zone. Yes, Frozen escapes just in the nick of time, but Roar using that heal. Oh, the flash over the wall. Goo avoids imminent death. <laughs> 
topside to block that, but their Nexus Towers are getting hit, and Juicin gets caught out over the wall. Frozen gonna help him escape, but Goons over the wall. He goes over, he dodges down the gale, and there's the exhaust onto Vor gets hit with the depth charge again. He has to flash over and dash out as Pure just marches forward. They're gonna cut off some people. Roar doesn't get hit by the hook, but Goom tries to pick up that one kill. He does against Tucson as Wash gets pushed back and Frozen has to dodge away with a double blink. Apple getting left behind once again just to save his team. And he's <laughs> gonna be the one cooking the, cooking the chicken. That'd be pretty awesome as Apple gets caught once again left behind. Teammates can't help you. I mean, we don't, we know <laughs> League of Legends is a mess of fantasy drones. Uh, Tucson gets caught, gets hooked backwards, and there's the calling, not really doing much, and Roar just has to keep his distance even while he's doing the calling, because Goon could jump onto him anytime and bring him down to below half health with one go. Just want to dominate in game two to secure a clean 2-0 win in today's matchup, Long Zoo IM. Trying to fight off the end of the game. A nice equalizer across the Nexus turret. Scoot getting exhausted again, but lots of damage onto Ignar. And Frozen just doing what he can from the side. Watch actually gets targeted by one of the towers for quite a bit of time. So he has to back out Tucson, having some burn damage on him, but he'll be able to escape back into Fountain and as the minions swarm around the Nexus. Najin EM Fire will finish game number two and get the 2-0 victory against Long Zoo IM. Yeah, pretty convincing match tonight. Najin pulling it together. Uh, had some had some worrisome moments in game one, but they managed to take away that risky Baron.